Hello, everyone. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you are doing well. I pray, I pray that we are all, what word is that? Excelling. Can I use that word? I pray that we are excelling in the things of God. Mean getting better, increasing our status in Jesus Christ. That is really what I am so much concerned about. I am not so much concerned about reaching a higher status earthly wise. That is not going to help me. <laughs> it is not. But spiritually increasing my status, that is what I really desire so much. Because I believe this world as it is now will pass away. So if this world will pass away, what do you have? I think the spiritual, right? So I really desire higher spiritual status in Jesus Christ. That is what I really, really, really want. I believe I desire more of the things of God than this world. This world is going to pass away, you all. There will be a new earth. If I am saying that right, I think so. Anyways, let me get back to my message. It is not about what my enemy does, but how I react to my enemy. And you may say, Kevin, what are you talking about now? Kevin, what are you talking about? Let me tell you. My enemy can cuss my mama. My enemy can, which I don't want that to happen, of course. My enemy can get me fired at a job. My enemy can take my clothes and rip them to shreds. What really matters, I believe we all are going to reap what we sow, whether we see it. No, I believe we are going to reap what we sow, what we sow. So I believe if our enemy does wrong to us, I believe they will be judged. But I believe what it is about how we react to negative behavior toward us. Five people, which I don't want this to happen, of course, five people can do so much wrong to me. But the question is, how will Uncle Kev react? Will I begin yelling? Will I begin to cuss? Will I lose my anger and start doing things I should not? Will I try to get revenge on those people? So how will I react to my enemy's deeds? That is what matters to us. Yes, we may feel hurt based upon what our enemy may do. But in a sense, to the aspect of which I am speaking, that doesn't really matter. It matters, but I believe we all I think every human on this earth will be tested or have been tested or will be tested, 
however you want to say it. I believe all humans will be tested. So, in this test, I believe we are going to be graded upon how we behave on this earth. So, let me use a random name. Johnny can do so much wrong to me. But him doing wrong to me, if I am saying this correctly, him doing wrong to me is based upon his test, if this makes any sense. I won't get a lower score on my test by him doing wrong to me. But I am going to be graded based upon how I behave. So in a sense, him doing wrong to me doesn't really matter. It may hurt us, it may whatever, and we can pray and fast about it. But what really matters? I hope this is making sense. Yes, the wrong that people do does matter, but in the aspect of our test, which I believe we all are going to be tested, it doesn't really matter. What matters is how we respond. Are we going to respond in peace? Are we going to respond in very bad anger? Are we going to sin based upon what our enemy does? I have recorded some videos and I'm not sure if all, some of them may have not posted yet, but I have spoken in some where we need to close our mouth. I think that is one good way to avoid so much trouble. I believe we must respond in peace. So I believe we need to respond to negativity in peace. I think much of the time in peace. Now, I don't think there is anything wrong with trying to correct a person in peace, but I believe we have to respond in peace. When it comes down to disciplining a child, you know, that may be something else there. Which, I hope that makes sense there when I speak about children. Not to say that we need to treat them cruelly. It doesn't matter what your enemy does. It doesn't matter. Yes, pray about it. Yes, fast if you need to. But in truth, it doesn't really matter. What matters? Because I believe our enemy, if they are doing wrong for the wrong reasons, I believe they are going to reap what they sow. Even if I provoke you, even if someone provokes you, we need to keep our cool and do what is right. And Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, in essence, I believe it is saying that the demonic is our problem, not humans. So if that be the case, how will disrupting peace make a difference with another human? If it is demons, that is our problem. I must, and I believe you must, fight spiritually. Fight against the things that is causing us problems, right? Yes, I truly think so. We may see a human face, but what is behind the human face? Meaning, what is behind a human? Probably a demon. 
something happened and I was talking to someone every so often, every so often, let me make it simple. That person may say something and or laugh. And you can say it is my mind. And I'm not saying every time that person may say something or may laugh or whatever. And it may seem like to me that it is coming not from that person, but from another source as if the person is the puppet and the puppeteer is the one that is I hope this makes sense so it is coming out of that person's mouth but it don't seem like it is from that person if you know what I mean you can say that I am crazy you can say that I am out of my mind you can say whatever you want but our wrestle is not with flesh and blood. I believe it is from the demonic. And I think the more closer you get with Jesus Christ, I think more and more things will be revealed to you to where you might start seeing things you don't want to see, which there are some things I see I don't want to see, honestly. But let me stop here. May God bless you.